Hey everyone, Seawell Boats out here with special guests. Caleb. And Taylor. And we're playing Trolling Team. We're seeking atonement. So Taylor has some controller right now because it's an OMA. Here she is. Uh, so who do I get to play? Yeah, I was actually thinking about that. I was like, I have not let you play anyone. And I feel bad. I was like, maybe I should let you play We, Pen In our defense, we offered. It's far, but I'm heading for Resurgo. Just a little while longer. Hang in there, Alyssa. So this happened before. Mm-hmm. This is how she... So this is pro that probably a little bit was this beforehand. Is, that's beforehand, and then this is after. Because this is her going after the yes, prisoner. Yes, do. Unless somehow this is a vent, and I'm going to be upset. And also, how dare I not. I don't think it's an event. Alyssa. No, I don't think so either. Just... Oh. Don't go off. She's going to live. She has to live. Oh no. Oh no. Please, Alyssa. You've got to live. No. Answer the phone. You you made this assumption in the episode. Don't worry. But it didn't show any sign. I promise that I'll save her. Because it was from his perspective. It was his perspective, yeah. This is her. It's but watched. it didn't even... It's gone. Because he stepped into the room. It stopped. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. He certainly is an enigma, isn't he? He only recently arrived here. He's been through a lot. There's no need to worry. He'll definitely save Alyssa. Doctor, hurry, we're having problems. Definitely? Yes. And we'll do our best too. Besides, if you keep looking so sad, Alyssa will surely laugh at you. <laughs> oh, Dr. Kimishima, w where are you going? Make a comment. You're absolutely right. Right now, I don't even deserve to be laughed at by her. I... I'll leave this to all of you. Alyssa? Hold up, but now we have a face. Like, she knows who delivered that box to her. She saw the person's face. It's she wore a cap and she had to be found for she knows it's a girl. Right? We all know it's a girl now. Take it down a notch, little guy. Talk to me. Oh, well, uh, excuse me. I was worried. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's working with purpose. Has the FBI contacted you? I want information. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, yes. Uh, I've made arrangements to have it sent to us. Great. Send a helicopter over to take me back. You won't get away. I swear I'll catch you. What's the bomber's name? Or what it does? Well, Revolutionary. Are you really alright? I'm fine. Let's sort out what's happening. Any new information? Uh, well, about that. Uh -oh. We couldn't find any usable clues from the scene. We did obtain the signed delivery form, but. Go on. Right. And the delivery persons were found. Here. Huh. You amaze me. You still don't get it, do you? Uh, what do you mean? Do you really think there aren't any clues to the bomber? Uh, did you figure something out? Of course I did. That's why I'm here. <sighs> why are you being so quiet all of a sudden? No, it's nothing. It's just that. Just what? It's like the old Dr. Kimishima I knew is finally back. Oh? That's enough of that, Agent. There's no time to lose. Start autopsy? Yeah. So this was the um, guy that we found the apartment to, and he was the one that was making the calls for the bomber. Mm -hmm. To start autopsy. So we're re-looking at his body because we have to start from scratch. Because originally... Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. I don't remember right now. It's been a minute. Little I remember. Let's go over the information that we have so far. Oh, uh, right. The revolutionary, Stephen Eldred, was not, in fact, the raging bomber. That's right. The real bomber placed an explosive inside a stuffed animal. And then sent it to you, Dr. Kimishima. Let's trace the delivery back to its source immediately. If we can find out where that package came from, we'll find the bomber and then... There's no need for that. Huh? Well, why? Hmm... Don't you think there's someone much more suspicious? Who? 
I believe that the person who is most likely to be the bomber is the delivery girl. I'm at the man I, from loan taxes. Oh my gosh. I don't want to pay my taxes. Indeed. You know, I the have. person who delivered the package is most suspicious. Then the raging bomber personally handed you the bomb? Isn't that too dangerous? I have proof. Um, the carbon dust. I got carbon dust on my hand when I signed for the delivery. That's because the delivery person said that the digital pad was broken. Aiden and Steven, the other victims that we examined, both of them also had carbon dust on their fingers. I see. That explains why the carbon was only on their dominant hands. Yes. In other words, the bomber killed the other two victims in the same way that I was targeted. The fact that the delivery person was female also points toward her culpability. What do you mean? Uh, don't you get it? Let me ask you this then. How did the bomber hide her true identity? The revolutionary. I'm having a hard time hitting eight. Like I hit eight. She hired hard. Stephen Eldred to make the bomb threats for her, but even this was a trap. That's because. Because I'm processed, right? To the first one. Yeah, yeah I know. I've changed voices. Maybe. Yes, she let Stephen's voice go out unprocessed on purpose. What? Wanted us to think everything she did was an act and we were fooled we were all led to believe that the raging bomber was a young man i see so why was he the woman is the bomber then it all makes sense indeed on the other hand there's another mystery yeah, why was he solved just yet he was the voice that is yeah why was the revolutionary killed yes the bomber was using the revolutionary character as a cover to protect herself why then would she kill him, little guy? Huh? What? What happened to Alyssa's house? Oh, unfortunately, it completely. Oh, burned. so it blew up in yeah, the house, not when she was crouched over. Still, that's so that's how the glass. My my thing is like it barely showed her being up from behind the bushes. So how close was her house to the bushes and for her? True. True. Okay. It's whatever. useless as a potential crime scene now. I see. Then I'm going to investigate the revolutionary. Okay, okay. Time. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just concentrating on thing. Also, if she had been crouched over it, there wouldn't be anything to uh, to operate on. Yeah, because <clears throat> that was a big explosion. First yes, off. Yes, but now I know what I'll be seeing. You look into those deposits. The ones okay, so Stephen Eldred's accounts. Okay, I'll get started. So we're going to Stephen Eldred's place. Yes, that's where we're going. The same crime scene we went to earlier. Yeah, but now we're looking different. From a new perspective. And I think oh, no. so. All of these are new cards. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to be interested to see what clues that we looked at last time to see if there's anything that we were like, "Well, is this suspicious?" Oh, yeah. Go to the computer. I want to see if we still have any. Yeah, of we still have all of our other stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh no. No, because we finished it technically, but we were like, "No, this is stone." So exit. Let's go to his place. Figure out what's going on. Yeah, because like I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see. How much of this is going to be different? Like, I investigated this room before. I can't just rush around now and expect okay. to find new information. What we need now is more information about the raging bomber. If the same method was used to deliver the bomb here as was used to get the other bomb to me, the area with the most clues would be. Mm -hmm. Go to the front. This is where all the interaction. Pick the piece of paper because it was not. The delivery form. If the bomber did send this... So the thing was, the game knew we were looking for that, but it knew it wasn't time. There's a chance that this form has some important evidence. That would be... Uh, fingerprints? Because the delivery woman wasn't wearing a glove, I don't think. Right. We may be able to lift some fingerprints from it. Compare it to the... You got your dusters, right? Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, so, oh. This is a human hair. It's about 40 centimeters long. It's a woman's. No, it couldn't possibly be the revolution. Yeah, because he has four hair. Yeah. This needs further investigation. Wait, wasn't the that... footprints, footprints. Look at all the footprints. Hmm, right. If that woman delivered the Run, footprints in the same, then she would have left footprints at the entrance. Stephen was the revolutionary and was male. If the delivery person was female, her footprints would definitely be different. 
Let's look for footprints that differ from Stevens. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Oh, jeez, I'm so oh, oh my. Okay. There. Are you sure? Okay. Either that. Okay, so Okay, look. anything that has a point probably, because no, there's... you want to look for smaller. Smaller? Male's feet tend to be bigger, while women's feet tend to be smaller. I mean, okay. comparing... Well, look how many footprints there are and see, like... Also... You would think there's only going to be one set, probably. Also, look. See how they're all tennis shoes? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to move my cursor from here. Look at the footprint that's right underneath. It it's has... solid. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Yes. This footprint is definitely different in size and pattern from the others. Let's collect this print and send it to the Because I was like, places. okay, there's multiple footprints. So I was like, okay, so footprints. And if she it. only came in once, then it would be... Mm. Um, hair. Okay, little guy. I need this one down. All right, I see. Did you discover anything? Yes, the footprint is 27 centimeters in length, so we should expect this person to be between 170. Oh, yeah, and how, how does that work? Like, um, your foot size, if you double it so many times, the height of the person, your arm length, woman so on so forth. To me so you find a full handprint, you can figure out how tall they are, how oh, also big their foot is, how big their head is, so on and so forth. Great. Can you narrow it down to a specific store? Well, there aren't that many stores that carry this brand, but it's still over a hundred. Hmm. I can narrow it down, but it's going to take some time and a lot of effort. Well, do the best you can. I'm going to keep investigating. Understood. Also, personally, I'll contact you once I found anything out. No, I was trying to get away with murder. Buy a pair of shoes from Walmart. With that, and also make sure they're a size bigger, so. You know, Can you tell me anything about this hair, little guy? Sure, give me a moment. It's, like, uh, it's still a stretch, but still. What's the matter? Well, this hair is dyed black, but it's. I was about to say, because when the delivery woman came up to her, she had brown hair. Mm hmm. Red hair. Can you tell if it belonged to the bomber? But it would appear that this person came to Stephen with black hair. So she's been dying her hair multiple times. No, okay. I'd need some DNA from the bomber to compare it to. Also, Danny says that after all There's he does. a good chance that this hair does belong to the bomber. Huh. Yeah, what is that? Uh, this is hardly conclusive evidence, she said but here's something you may not know, little guy. Only 2-3% to of people in this country are true redheads. It isn't a common color at all. Oops. So, He's just like, how is this really was it green case? eyes? Isn't it popular? That hair's been dyed, hasn't it? Color! Right, but... If that hair is the bomber's, as I suggest, uh, what reason would she have to dye it? Um... It to disguise herself. Her natural color stands out. Hmm, that's She's right. going gray. <laughs> <laughs> Having red hair is an obvious identifying feature. If there happened to be any witnesses, her identity would be easy to discover. Isn't hmm. it plausible to think that this might be why the bomber would dye her hair black? I see. That hypothesis does make sense. The dye used seems to be a temporary coloring agent as well. Hmm. So the dye is meant to be washed out. If that's the case, she could change her hair color with every delivery to create conflicting witness accounts. Yeah. That would make her hair part of her costume as well. Yes, but until we can prove that hair belongs to her, this is all just speculation. I know. We need something to match her DNA with in order to do that. It's a decent theory, anyway. Let's keep gathering what information we can. Got it. I'll let you know immediately if anything else comes up. Done. Um. Uh, give them the paper because. Oh yeah. Not that one. Oh wait, it is. I, I was gonna say, just go ahead. There were two. I didn't know which one. Well, if the other one has only one story, then it's keep it. It's very likely. It hadn't even crossed my mind until now. Right. I'll send it to the lab, so it'll Let's take a while. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, the results of... Wow, that was really fast. Well, no, they did zoom out and zoom back in. That was the longest while we've ever had. I know. Did you find anything? 
I think it's because we did it out of order. It's a fair possibility. It's like we did it out of order. Just saying. The revolutionary. He'd be the recipient. The other set belongs to somebody else. Well, common sense dictates that they'd have to belong to. Let's not start jumping to any conclusions. We need to find out who left those fingerprints. Okay, so. Uh, back out for a moment. Wait. Oh, yeah, do that. Yeah, go ahead. Nope, okay. Put oh, that. wait, wait, wait. No. Yeah. Huh. Yes, those two can be. Uh, I knew there was that. Little guy, could I bother you for a moment? Yes, of course. What is it? I want you to look at the fingerprints on the delivery form Stephen and I were presented with. Compare any prints you find that don't belong to either Stephen Eldred or myself. No problem. I'll just be a moment. What did you find? Are there any matches? A complete match. There's no mistake. These are from the same person. Good. This is proof of another yeah, important say, fact. Solid proof. Forms have two sets of prints. Obviously, the delivery one of hers. Another from <laughs> delivered it. So, delivered it. The person who delivered it. Well, first, I thought you said exit. The other set of prints is from the person who delivered the package. If the fingerprints match on both forms, then the person who delivered the bomb to the revolutionary was... The delivery woman who was at the eye at the Little guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Let me guess. She doesn't exist, right? Uh, right. We've contacted all the delivery companies that work in this area. Also, it would be hilarious if, like, we had said it was right, and, like, they had reactions like, what? Me? What? You know, it would be No, it would just be, like, concentrate. I know, but still, it would be funny if, like, each answer you had or to do something, you would have a different reaction to it. I can't be sure yet. She might be another person really? being used That's your answer? We'll figure that out as we continue with the investigation. Right. In any case, we'll need to keep that woman in mind. How about the fingerprints? Did you compare them to anything in the FBI's criminal database? Of course I ran them through the system. No matches, though. <laughs> if that woman is the raging bomber, then she's a complete newbie. That's an awful thought. Someone with no criminal record at all, and she's already killed four people with these bombs. That seems to be the case. This might turn out to be one tough murder spree to end. As long as she doesn't blow you up, it'll be okay. You might want to avoid saying things like that in the future. Oh, oh, uh, sorry. I... Anyway, we've figured out how she was delivering the bombs. Yes, let's try summarizing what we know of the events in this That was case. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. The bomber prepared a bluff to hide behind while she committed the crimes. That bluff was... Revolutionary. Bombs. Yes, the revolutionary, Stephen Eldred. The bomber had Eldred make the bomb threats over the phone. She had him use his own voice with absolutely no processing to attempt to conceal it. Because of this, the bomber misled us into believing that the killer was male. On the other hand, the bomber used the names of people close to the targets to send the packages. She did that to make her targets feel less suspicious about the deliveries, right? Yes. All the bombs were set to explode in close proximity to the target. It's likely that what triggered the explosion would have been... Broken bombs. Yeah. Indeed. If the bomb was set to go off when the package was opened, it would explain the wound patterns. Still, that's not what she did in my case. Yeah, that's right. She used a time bomb for me. That does seem odd now that you bring it up. Why would she do that? It makes a lot of sense if you think about it. What's that supposed to mean? Don't you get it? It's because... Alyssa was the target. Mm. It gives her time to escape. Yeah. No. no. It might be the target was. That? Alyssa was the oh, target. Oh, security, security. Because remember, she brought it to the actual place. Anticipating heavy security. Yeah. Because okay. she was at the CIF too. Let me ask you, investigator, if someone assisting the FBI appears in a tabloid, what's your by-the-book response? Um, we'd increase security around you to prevent the killer from striking at you. Exactly. In fact, the security at CIFM was heavier than usual. The bomber had to be sure that I would be killed by the blast. If there had been a baggage screening at the entrance and the lid was opened there, she predicted that her present would never reach me. I see. 
So that's why the package didn't go off the moment it was opened. Yes. And she even put a note inside the package. She wanted to ensure that I would be near the bomb when it went off. If it wasn't for Alyssa, I would have been. She's a tough one. This is the kind of mind we're dealing with. The question remains, was the woman who delivered the package the bomber or not? From the evidence we have, she's definitely the most suspicious character at this point. Still, this whole thing about taking such a risk to deliver the bombs herself. And if she was the bomber, would the revolutionary have noticed before he was killed? That's possible. However, that would only happen if the revolutionary knew her face. Huh? Think about what happened in Eldred's room. The bomber sent her messages via the computer. Perhaps the revolutionary only knew the bomber from the internet. Still, would somebody really deal with someone they've never even seen? Our technology gets better and better, but people can remain as naive as the day they were born. But, why did the bomber... It's very true. It's, it's very, very true. Days? Oh, I had something to report. I almost forgot. Oh, gosh, don't stuff, can you dude. suddenly yell like that? Yeah, sorry. It's about the revolutionary. We looked into his financial records. It seems there were periodic deposits into his accounts. These deposits perfectly coincide with another series of events. Really? Hmm. Let me guess. It was... The bomb pants. Absolutely. Friday the 13th. <laughs> <sighs> of course I am. Continue. Okay, also, I'm yes. wondering if, uh, like, those were, I wonder if he was either threatening or blackmailing to do so, or threats. he was at, like, as an actor. For the, first three times, and for the, fourth time. the last one was double the others? It was his yes, own... There's no doubt about it. It was, he, he predicted his own death in that hmm. threat. After that deposit was made, the bomber targeted the one who made the threats for her. Could the change in the amount of money be related to the revolutionary's killing? Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's some messed up right there. Yeah, true. Okay. Let's put the two deads together. See if that works. Because they're dead. Because they're dead. So, true. Yeah. We might be able to deduce something from these. I don't like to conjecture much, but I could try making some inferences. The revolutionary was receiving periodic deposits of large sums of money. It's most likely that whoever was making these deposits was... The raging bomb. Yeah. Hi. Alyssa. <laughs> I believe that it would have been the bomber herself who was using the revolutionary. In exchange, the revolutionary performed a service for the bomber, which was... Phone calls. Okay, so... Yes. The bomber paid him in advance to make the phone calls to deliver the bomb threats. But, according to Little Guy's information, there were four deposits. The last deposit was very different from the rest. That difference was... It was a lot more money? <laughs> yes. The amount of money was double the previous deposits. Now, what could explain this sudden increase in the payment amount? Blackmail? Well, I mean... That seems to be the only reason. Yeah, okay. Well, it could have been a bomb. Human avarice knows no bounds. It's possible that the revolution oh, really thought that he had an upper hand on the bomb. Using that, he I mean, may have tried to blackmail the bomb over thing, his part of her plot. The four. There is a plausible reason why he would demand it, an increase. It depends on which job he goes to. It's like a set amount, unless he made another contract. That's right. He took out a loan in order to pay for the expensive guitar in his room. There's no way to know whether his arrangement with the bomber began before or after the right guitar. The but even so, nobody wants to live in fear of debt collectors. Still, like, I'm the perceived dominance he had over the bomber would have been an error. I doubt the bomber stuff. even thought twice about murdering him. She seems slower, like the type who is absolutely like merciless to anyone who gets in her way. But the bomber did make one payment for more than the original amount. The reason for that must be to pay him for another threat. Yeah. Yes. The revolutionary, after being paid twice his usual amount, made the fourth bomb threat. However, he wouldn't have known that he himself was the target of that threat. The bomber's clever. She had the foresight to make the fourth bomb threat before killing Eldred. Without that, HQ and I would have immediately noticed that something was different. Mm -hmm. She created this diversion to hide her intentions. 
making Eldred's murder seem like just another attack by the raging bomber. This is all starting to bring one more conclusion to light. Hmm, it's the little guy. Did he find something out? Oh, Dr. Kimishima, thank heavens I could reach you. Calm down. What's the matter? We've made some progress in the post of the the revolution. Whatever. Um, you want to stop pushing this list? All four of them were made to be out, but I can't do more. Oh, now. Um, do we want to pause here or do we want to continue? Higgins Beach? That's not a What about the security okay. footage? Was the bomber seen by any of the cameras? It's no use. We've checked them all, but there's no conclusive footage we can identify. Oh, I see. but still, it's all right. a possibility. I know for sure that we're closing in on the bomber. We've gathered quite a lot of information now. Mm -hmm. If some of the facts we know are put together... Hey, solid evidence. I, I do think that it's really messed up that she had him call out his own bed. Yeah, but at the same time, it wasn't like, oh, it's gonna be this exact person. It was like the pop, it's like a student, I think. No, so um, it was gonna be a white man. Hi. No, no, it's a one star, so it's matching it's something. Um, what's the shoe prints? Click on the shoe prints very quickly. Um, click the money, because we just got that. So, yeah, it, click those together, because it's hidden to each. Yes. These facts can tell us something new. One of the footprints found in Eldred's room wasn't his. The type of shoe is sold in over 100 stores. It'll take us time to narrow down where it came from. On the other hand, let's consider the deposits that we believe the bomber made to the revolutionary. The four deposits were all made from a single bank near Higgins Beach. One fair assumption we can make based on these facts is that... She lives... Or... Uh, well... She's in Higgins Beach now. Um, the location of the bank used by the bomber and the store that sold the bomber's shoes tell us that she was in No, the store should be checked. Dang it! Around the area. I think that's what it's meaning. Okay. That's right. If we search for stores that sell these now, particular table. shoes in oh. Higgins Beach, oh yeah, because it's half, isn't we'll it? We'll narrow down the number of stores that we have to I thought we lost a heart fully. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna break right here. Um, this is really getting interesting, but um, hope you guys are enjoying, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. See ya.